Okay guys, so my friend came in with his 93 F450 tow truck. They complained his AC light was coming on. He also had an oil leak. We had to do an oil cooler. But if you... Uh, yeah, so we fixed the oil cooler. And look at this. So we're charging at 14.71. We got our test leak right on this one battery. And all his battery cables were loose. We're charging at 15 amps. Got our amp clap around here. So if we put a 100 amp load on here, watch what happens. Look at that. So I'm gonna save this, and then we're gonna do an AC ripple test. So look at that, look at the current. It doesn't stay up, it drops down. Okay guys, so now I got it on AC couple. Two rolled scale on a yellow tray. The current's still on the other one. Watch it, I'm gonna pack it to the alternator. So if we turn this on, 100 amp load. Look at that, 87 amps. So look at how bad that got. Look at that, look at that AC ripple. We're seeing over a volt, 1.2 volts. Look at that bad alternator. So guys, we got a new alternator in. So here's a Let's put our, let's put our load on. Okay guys, so now we'll do an AC ripple test. There's our AC ripple right now. There you go, we'll put our load on. Look at that. Huge difference. I wanted to go over the captures that we had taken. So here's our one capture. This is... This is with a 100 amp load. This was our voltage right here. Our voltage is staying steady at, let's see, let's bring a cursor on. Show cursors. There we go, so our voltage is staying steady at 14.3 volts. And you can see our maximum current right here is 57 amps, okay? Down here, we're around Oh, that says negative four. Just move it a little bit. So four amps right down here at this little curve. Okay. So that was on that capture. Let's look at our other capture right here. This is our other one right here. This is with the 100 amp load. And here's what we see. So the lowest point right here, 100 amp load. Coming down to 14 amps. And then it comes back up to... 120 amps right here Now if you look up here on our voltage scale our lowest voltage right before this drops down Is pretty much zero volts. It says negative 0.8 and then the highest right here. This is our AC ripple We are seeing 0.7 volts. That's almost that's three-quarters of a volt swing Actually, that would be actually 0.8 volts of a swing. Oh, wait, am I looking at that right? Let's see, 0.8 to 0.7. Now that's a, that's almost a one volt swing. Sorry about that. Let's see. Let's try to get this. I was looking at the wrong one. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see. I was looking at the green. So, yeah, 0.76 volts we're seeing. That's way too much AC ripple. And what happened in here is I'm assuming it had a failed diode, and that's why you see this drop. You see the drop here. So if we put these side by side. There we go. You can see under no load, this is what's going on. And then right here is our high load. I think we can actually go back to before I turned it on. Yeah, right here. This is before I turned the, the load on. So you can see how we have these, like, it's even humps and then it drops down. Let's see if we can... I want to see if we can zoom in on this. Actually, actually I guess that's as far as we can zoom in. Like this should be an even hump. We shouldn't see this pattern where we have a couple and then a drop down. So 
So there's that one. Now let's bring up our new our new alternator. So this is our new one actually right here. So you can see yeah we were pretty consistent the whole time. So we bring our cursors up you can see our lowest point like right here and then we'll just go to we can go right here to our pretty much like highest point right after the peak. You see we're at point zero five volts and we're charging at 20 amps and it's staying pretty steady so now if we go to this one right here you'll see we got our load going on here's our 100 amp load so you can see look at our current our current staying pretty steady at 100 amps we don't have that pattern where it's dropping out so I hope you guys like this. Maybe you learned something. I tried to keep it pretty basic. See you guys later.